Let's make this gorgeous rain wreath for Christmas. Keep watching. I thought about how I wanted to use this wreath when I picked it up from the thrift shop and it obviously has some places that are broken. So I decided that maybe I could use it to make a very simple one ring wreath. So I have some, I don't know what exactly you would call these wire cutters, but they are very strong. They're flat on the end. I guess you could use any type of wire cutter you want. You might want to use gloves to protect your hands because the wire pieces can be very sharp. Um, this was an experiment for me because I've never disassembled a metal wreath like this. So what we're going to do is go for the smallest wreath and it, the smallest ring and it also happens to be the one that is still intact. So I'm going to use the clippers here and just take this apart, disconnecting it from the straight pieces that go down. I think this would also be a really good wreath all through winter. If you don't particularly like the heavy look of a flocked piece and regular green is not your thing, this is a frosted look. It's not really heavily flocked, so this might be something that would fit into your decor. So once I remove that bottom ring, there are some little pieces that are still there where I suppose they were originally welded together. And I got my clippers there and took those pieces off. They are very sharp, very sharp, so use extreme caution. Now, if your wreath is not broken, like mine was, you could use each ring and then you would have three wreaths of different sizes. And maybe you could use the same pattern on each wreath and then hang them as a trio together. That would look really good. Such a simple look, but it's going to be a really pretty wreath. Plus, with it being flat like this, it'd be very easy to store. So if you have a small place, this might be ideal for you. Maybe an apartment or a dorm. So now all I was doing is just kind of trying to bend that wire back down and make it flat. It's black, so I'm going to take this Rust-Oleum Universal. It's in nickel, and a satin nickel, and I'm going to take it outside and give it a coat of paint on each side. These are picks that I got from Walmart on clearance last year. They have a frosted, I think maybe cedar and blueberries. Just be sure you take your tags off and make sure that your pieces are in the right direction. The first pick that I laid down, you can see that the front side is up, but it's not the frosted side, and I will fix that in a moment because I want all I want it to be a cohesive look so all of my pieces need to look similar, like they were all hanging together somewhere. And I decided to put the third pick upside down so that it would cover up the stem. Okay, since the frost is on the back side of this one, I just went ahead and put it upward. going to use this full wire. Also something you may choose to wear finger protectors or gloves for because these wires can be sharp. You could also wrap the end of it with some floral tape if you wanted to. You'll see me remove my hand quickly. Yep, right there. I poked my finger. Yeah, I did. Poked my finger. Alright, so I'm going to take that piece of wire and in order to keep this together from sliding around, I'm going to use that same piece of wire from the first pick to secure the wire, to secure the pick on the second one. And it won't slide. If you wrap it up tight enough, it's not going to slide on there. I didn't have any trouble with mine rearranging the pieces once I got it all together. 
So we're following the circular shape of the wreath. I'm going to just bend that pick in just a little bit. The same with that one. Because you want the, the ends of the picks to be hidden behind the floral pieces. So I'm taking that wire and I am securing it to the piece that is above it. So the second and the third pick are now together. And then I'm going to weave that wire up through there so that all three pieces are together. I suppose you could do this before you place it on the wreath and then wire it, but this is the way that it occurred to me at the time, so I went ahead and did it this way. Any little pieces that you see that are trying to come away from the wreath, you could just go ahead and secure that down as well, which is what I'm doing here. Would you call this a modern look or a rustic glam look I'm not exactly sure okay so to beef it up just a tad these are little frosted pine cones that came from Dollar Tree and they aren't with the Christmas they are actually over in the floral section you can get the frosted or you can get the ones that are just the natural brown color and these little minis are perfect for this wreath because they already have a frosted look, just like the picks. We have pine trees in our yard, but the cones are, they're big. We don't have minis. So I have to buy those. But my big ones, we get out of the yard. Okay, so you just see me adding some hot glue and just placing those down in the areas that look a little sparse or thin. And put them in groups of one, two, three, whichever way makes you happy. Remember, our projects are all about what you love, making it your own, and whatever brings you joy. So there's really no wrong way to do this. It's just a little guidance, a little inspiration. shimmery and frosty and just really I think simple and pretty if you like saving money and doing elegant designs or doing unique designs that make you happy consider subscribing for those of you who have been following me I appreciate you being there and leaving your nice comments and thumbs up and I will see you again real soon thanks for watching bye